Hey everybody, it's Dis Thunder from thefoosh.com. We're going to look at the Mezco Toys Rumble Society Hawk P40 figure today. Sorry, it took a long time for me to get my hands on this figure and I wanted to actually get hands on before I gave you my thoughts. Design wise, he's really striking and of course being World War II style, it speaks to me. Like check out this bomber jacket with the nose art on it. And he's really kind of a lot to unpack. He looks simple, but there's a lot of stuff going on. Oh, sorry, that's not his leg pouch, my bad. Like, for example here, you've got digital camo pants, but these boots here, these are M43 combat boots. They have a, a leather gaiter sculpted on the front and everything. They actually did a nice job on those. They look good. But yeah, that makes the cargo pants kind of weird for me. We'll come back to that in a minute. His bomber jacket turned vest allows for good range, and you can access his belt there where you can peg his uh, wrench in. And the rest of the belt just pegs into the back right there. But because it's all kind of free-flowing, it makes his articulation very accessible. He has a really good double elbow bend, as you can see with the exposed joint there. Gets up past 90. He has a standard wrist peg, like most Mescos we have. And then the shoulder has a pad that goes out over the top, but can move out of the way so it doesn't inhibit the articulation. For that neck, he actually has like a double ball joint underneath that like rubber grommet thing. And then the usual torso articulation allows for a pretty good bend. Like I said, there's nothing in the way. And of course that means leg-wise, yeah, out, in, double knee, no trouble. So overall, pretty solid. Let's get into accessories. I'll talk about that Thompson, too. So he actually comes with this massive Gatling gun seen here. He has a couple different fire effects for it. This is an interesting piece. It's got some odd effects to it, like this uh, banana mag. Looking at it, I'm pretty sure this is how it's supposed to go. You see the, the tip of the bullet facing that way. The barrels do turn, and you have the standard effect like we've gotten previously with the shotguns. Or you have this new blast effect, which I'm quite fond of. Kind of more like a star burst effect there. I like this minigun effect, but I don't know. I, I feel like maybe a more period appropriate would have been better. You see it attached with that little uh, kind of cowling piece that goes over his forearm and then holds onto the trigger there. I don't know. It's cool and feels road blocky, but he also comes with the recoilless rifle we received previously as well. Again, not a bad choice, and I like the paint effects on it, but maybe not my favorite weapon in the Mezco arsenal, if I'm being honest. Although he seems to hold it more comfortably than the Gatling gun. And since we're getting new fire effects, though, I kind of wish he got one for this as well, because we don't have an effect for this rifle yet. He also comes with an awesome variant head that has kind of like a Sherman tank turret look to it. There's an articulated jaw with some rollers in there. A lot of detail work that went into that. And there's like a communicator that plugs into the back of his head that could be used like as a walkie-talkie. But this part did get a special blast effect, which is unique to this set. I don't think we've seen it anywhere else before. But definitely has like that hot powder, loud, heavy charge effect going. And yet, itty bitty projectile in the end. While the, the hawk head with the shark grin, it feels more character appropriate if we want to call it that. I do really like that head sculpt. And it also has a good 40s, 50s kind of aesthetic to it. Hawk P40 also comes with his very own P40 Warhawk to drop his Gatling gun into battle. No, I wish that were true. This is the G.I. Joe Sergeant Savage P40, which I wish, I wish he would fit in that cockpit, but it just is not going to happen. Instead, he also comes with a knife that looks like he stole it from Cable and a grenade, which maybe we've seen before. Honestly, those are kind of lackluster. Size-wise, he's on a pretty big base body. Uh, chest and torso-wise, he's close to that Logan Batman custom I've got sitting there. I don't know. It's somewhere in the middle. But the arms definitely make for a different aesthetic because they're kind of lanky. And then, of course, a taller neck. So he stands out pretty much among anybody Mezco-wise you put him with. So here's the part where I piss everybody off. I changed his pants. Gave him some OD drab 3A pants instead of those digital camo jobs. And I think that looks a lot better, actually. Feels more World War II. And uh, that M1928 Thompson, that's Doc Nocturnal's gun. Don't get me wrong, an M1 would have been better, but it still looks pretty sweet to me. And honestly, I really like the way this figure looks now. I think that was the, the piece of aesthetic language that was missing. But feel free to tell me in the comments how I ruined this figure forever. I'll be waiting for you. I think that's what Rumble Society is all about, though. You take the contents of that box and that little bit of bio, and you tell your own story. So whether he's a World War II ace, lost in time, ended up in a cyborg body somehow... Or he's some kind of alien shark robot thing that has a thing for World War II vintage. Whatever the story is you want to tell, definitely get your name on that wait list. Because, thank you very much, Mezco. It's paid off for me many, many times. And speaking of thank yous, thanks so much for all the love and the well wishes you guys have given me while I've tried this YouTube thing out. I know my videos are not great. My content is needing much work. But I promise I'll get better as I go. And I really appreciate the patience and, well, I just appreciate you being here. 
If you want to find more of my work, though, you can always find me at Foosh Dis Thunder on Instagram and occasionally on the front page of thefoosh.com. Until then, thanks again for stopping by and take care, you guys.